Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So in today's video, I'll show you how I manage and sometimes even struggle to get my household chores done having two toddlers around. This video is in partnership with ABC Kids, which is an online store for kids shoes and clothing apparel. I was quite amazed with the collection they have in shoes and sandals for boys and girls of all age group. Not to mention so many different types of color options in each style, so you have a lot to choose from. I ordered this cute shoes for my 18 months old baby boy Kushang, but unfortunately it didn't fit him. Actually, he has been using his big sister's croc so far and it was the first time that I was ordering a shoe for him online and I had no idea his feet is so wide. These shoes didn't fit him, but ABC Kids uh, are kind enough to send him another pair. These LED light shoes which has velcro or a sticker at the top which is designed to fit wider feet. So I highly recommend you guys to go and check out their size chart. It will tell you US and EU sizes and it will also show you how to measure your baby's feet so that you can order an exact size for him. So a huge shout out to ABC Kids and if you too want to buy shoes, sandals or clothes for your kid, head over to their website. ABC Kids are offering a 30% discount to my viewers if you use my code MOM30 at checkout. I will leave a link to their website and a link for these shoes in the description box below. So make sure to check them out and now let's get started with today's vlog. Hey guys, welcome to Yama the vlog. I've been thinking since morning to start the vlog and it's around 10.30 and now I can finally start the vlog. So we just did our breakfast and uh, we actually took a shower today only. Uh, it's Raksha Bandhan. So happy Raksha Bandhan to everybody and hope you're having a wonderful day with your family. So for us, it's just a regular day and my husband has gone to work. Uh, India ke bahar pata bhi nahi chalta hai agar koi festival aata hai to. So it's just a regular day for us and right now, uh, entire house is a mess. But we uh, quickly, we are done and dusted with uh, showering and all. Now I have to prep for the lunch. That is my uh, priority number one. Then I'm going to go around whole house and I am going to clean. So, so guys, another thing that, uh, as I said, it's Raksha Bandhan today. And Dhyan is going to tie Rakhi to Kushang. It's uh, their second Raksha Bandhan. And I have just checked our uh, Chogadiyo, as we say. I don't know what is that in uh, uh, English or any other language. So if you're Gujarati, you know what I'm talking about. I'll just put a picture here. So I've seen the Chogadiyo. So the first Chogadiyo was very nice. So my husband changed his Janoi. And somehow he managed to tie himself a Rakhi. And uh, so next to Chogadiyas are not good so one and a half hours each of you so 6 30 was the sunrise so till 8 was the first one so that was a good time since 8 to 11 is not very shook so we are going to try raki after 11 because after that it's um, for a couple of hours it's quite good day so that's the plan right now it's 10 30 so after 11 we're going to try the raki so i need to do a little bit of that राज गुरु अगेन <laughs> so it's 10 a.m. right now and today's plan for the first half of the day that is before afternoon nap is to unload the dishwasher first then reload it with dirty dishes from the breakfast then make lunch I've already put a load of laundry in the washing machine which I have to dry at some point 
then tie raki around 12 pm then finally the nap time and do all this while keeping my kids entertained and avoid any possible meltdowns as meltdowns are like speed breaker in getting any work done so let's see how much i can achieve so I am trying to explain Dhyani here today's plan and that she has to play with Kushang all this time and help mama in getting kitchen work done. And she tells me that she wants to eat some Cheerios. <laughs> it's kind of she's asking for a bribe. Anyways, I offered her to first pick her toys up from the kitchen floor in return for some Cheerios and she agreed. I just want to quickly mention here that toddlers are naturally very helpful and they love encouragement and appreciation. Sometimes my husband and I, we play this trick. If Dhyani doesn't want to do something, say for example, brushing her teeth in the morning and then like, you know, I'll tell my husband, oh, she can't do it. She doesn't know how to brush the teeth. And my husband would in uh, return encourage Dhyani so much. No, 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 mama, you are wrong. She can do it. She does it very nicely. I've seen her doing it every day. She'll just show you now how good she is at brushing the teeth and she just does it so this trick always works so i have really pumped her using the same technique and she is really pumped one to pick her toys up and then second to play with kushang and if dhyani is happy and in a playful mood kushang will play with her and it's the best time and opportunity for me to get chores done but toddlers are not always in a good and cheerful mood so if dhyani is cranky and whingy even kushang is clinging on me and constantly saying teri le which is pick me up so it's like double trouble for me and i really struggle to get things done on such days so my main task is to get dhyani in a playful mood and as i said kushang will simply follow she is really good in entertaining kushang i must say the days dhyani is at daycare i have to entertain kushang and it's quite a job i've always find playing with kids very hard as the mommy in me wants to play with my babies but as they house a uh, housemaker in me is always tensed about cutting veggies, putting cooker on, start dishwasher, drawing the load of laundry, etc, etc, etc. There's something always outstanding and my mind is always thinking about that outstanding task because otherwise I know it's not going to get done. And once the work is done and dusted, that's the time I really enjoy with my kids. But such span is very short-lived as household chores are like a never-ending cycle. So guys, seriously, if you want to enjoy being a stay-at-home mom, just lower your cleaning standards and you will feel happy within. Let me know your thoughts about this, please. Would love to know what other mamas are feeling about this never-ending house chore cycle. Please go to my community section and leave a comment or two and i love to read them and get back to you so now they are playing with each other and they're just doing rounds from drawing room to kitchen and i'm working in the kitchen they like to be around me and i am unloading the dishwasher right now and then i will reload it with dirty dishes from the breakfast जा सु जाओ घर में जाओ Oh, 
Next, I want to cut veggies as I am making vegetable fried rice today. I am trying to be quick here as kids will be hungry anytime. And before lunch, I want Dhyani to tie Raki to Kushang. And guess what? If they are hungry, especially my little one, he'll start crying. And I don't want them to have lunch first as they create a lot of mess. On the chairs, on the floor, their clothes, pretty much everywhere so trying to hasten here so that everything can be accomplished as scheduled and hence making just fried rice today usually i prefer to make sabzi roti for lunch and then for dinner i will do dal bhat uh, or rice um, such things but today i just want to be quick so that's on the menu Finally, the lunch is ready and it's time to tie the raki. I have already uploaded a video on my channel, Raksha Bandhan to 2019, uh, where Dhyani is tying raki to Kujang. If you haven't yet seen it, I will leave a link of that video in the description box below. And Dhyani does a really cute thing in that, uh, which is, um, I just told her that tell your brother uh, that please uh, protect me for my life. And Dhyani goes and says in Gujarat, that protect me if magpie comes and hurts me and the way she says that oh my god that is so cute it's really must watch if you understand Gujarati please go and watch that vlog So guys, it's 12 and I have made the lunch. We haven't eaten yet, but we have tied the raki and I'm going to share this in a separate video because I don't want to mix a vlog with the Raksha Bandhan uh, ceremony. So uh, I'll wait for that. And now we are running to have our lunch and kids are so hungry. Kushang! Kushang, no, 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 Already standing, putting his rakhi in the mouth. Kushu, I'm, I'm rakhtu. I'm le diana. Vegetable, kadai Vegetable, kada hai kahin? Chal, Gugu ne khabda hai to. Mama. Kem? I don't know the vegetables are huh. 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 strong? Huh. Okay. Go, go, mom, mom. Let's go. Today, Dhyani has spilled so much rice and honestly, I'm a little annoyed as she started playing with food while I was attending a phone call. Just cleaning up the mess while kids are sitting outside and later I have to dry wash clothes on the rack if I can. Guys, I want to share here that there are many times during the day when I feel stressed being with two toddlers at home with no house help like we have in India. And um, I've always said that and I'll say it again that mommy job is the most difficult thing that I've ever experienced in my life. It's physically and emotionally draining and I go through the same and what makes it even more difficult is that you have to do all the household chores just by yourself taking care of the kids not one but two now i have two babies who have their meltdowns who have their tantrums who have their knees who need mama all the time and there are many times that i'm 
holding both of them in my arms or I'm sitting and each of them uh, are sitting on my lap and they both are crying and I'm just shushing them both I am like you know uh, cuddling them both or I'm explaining them or sometimes I'm just sitting there I'm just there and doing nothing and I just let them cry and it might not show on the camera everything but let's get real guys two toddlers at home it's a mad house which is why actually i enrolled khushank one day in daycare it gives me at least half a day to myself and it saves my sanity so it's almost 12 30 right now we've had our lunch but <laughs> My kids are so determined to go outside now that they just don't want to be home. So we're going outside and I still have a little bit of work but I think I will have to do that later. Wait, wait, Kushank. Mama no hat pakar. We were young and we were free and running. Never bothered about what could be coming Every day we danced and life was smiling We were young and drunk in love A few years later I have started thinking If it's just love in every glass I'm drinking We're like one and without you I'm sinking I'm always shining next to you Literally, so we are wandering the streets. Just <laughs> enjoying. I'm enjoying. <laughs> I have always been afraid of changes, but you show me life is full of faces. Sometimes clouds got in our favorite places, but we were young and unaware. Wait, wait, wait. Chasing payment on my own. Oh, 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 oh. Cause you're here to stay. Every night and day. I'm delighted cause I can you. La 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 आई है चलो अंदर था कि क्या दस मिनट वॉक में तो आप रहे हेलो लेट्स गो इनसाइड सो इट्स वन राइट नाउ एंड लेट मी सी इफ आई कैन क्विकली पुट माय लॉन्ड्री ऑन द रैक क्योंकि सुबह से वेट कर रही हूँ वहीं नहीं रही है काम एंड देन इफ दे स्लीप देन दे नॉट गोना लेट मी गो सो आई हैव लाइक लिटरली ट Hello, Diani. Hello, Diani. What do you like? I make gugu. I make gugu. Dad, what a man! Mama, ne to koi lad na kal tu. Anyway, now we are in late afternoon. Kids have just woken up from nap and they are playing in their room. I'll still have some time to start prepping dinner, so I'm just tidying up their room, cleaning their room, and folding laundry with kids. Do the trick as they feel that I am sitting with them and not just working in the kitchen as usual. काजू 
कि राज गोलो राज गोलो Evenings are most stressful for me as Kushang does not feel like playing at all neither Dhyani. They are most cranky at this point. Not playful. They are hungry. They are waiting for dinner but does not want me to cook it either. So I simply put them on the swing and I keep swinging them while making dinner. But as good times doesn't last long, they get tired and Dhyani starts riding her bicycle or magic car and Kushang, he has this thing these days and he opens cabinets and drawers. It's his favorite thing to do since past few days. I have ordered child locks for drawers and I'm eagerly waiting for them. Dhyani actually never opened a single drawer when she was at this age. So I was actually not prepared for this situation. But as we know, not all child are the same. So Kushang is so different than Dhyani and he loves to explore everything and he falls and bumps so much than Dhyani. And after dinner, we usually spend some family time together. Now, this is the most quality time that we spend with the kids. And um, before I start my nighttime routine and after dinner and before nighttime routine, we have like 30, 40 minutes when we sit as a family, we talk, we play, we enjoy. And Dhyani always say that this is my family. This is my family time. I love my family. And, you know, that moment is so special that I'm never actually bothered capturing on the camera because if I do, they actually stop behaving like that. Please, Shana, what are you doing? Please, please. Ah, come on, let's see what you're doing. Let's see what you're so guys, I hope you've enjoyed watching this vlog and could relate to it. If so, hit like and head to my community section to comment. I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.